We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air. And I remember. Seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Artyom's been on another one of his mad trips up top. Putkin. He got hey, into hey, one too many explosions at D6. Where to now? Left, across the square! Hey, Damir, do you think the Colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you! Leave him alone! I killed him myself ah, with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. Ah, yeah, How right. else can he hope and to survive in the metro? Rise right and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now? The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop! There's only Metro, nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in. I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Yeah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? <laughs> Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well, it's your life. Artyom, I understand how you feel, but you're not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Your friends from the Order came to your help again. The Colonel seems to want you back in the unit. Why waste your time in our farming station, or out there looking for ghosts? If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Eh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. Yeah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. 
Uncle Artyom, don't worry. I believe you. <coughs> Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? Well, not everyone can stand being down here. And why not? It's what's kept us alive until now. Artyom, stop and how long putting do you think delusions that's into his head. I station? don't want him going you know, crazy how like you. Will left here in ten years? I can't even sleep since ten you told years. him all those silly stories. We'll be lucky stories. if we make it halfway there. Is no that supposed to make him better? No please, leave my son alone. Fighters taking unnecessary risks. What will we do if all the Spartans come down with radiation poisoning like Artyom and the Nazis try something? You must come back to court. That's exactly why they go up there. They know I left the order, and now nobody gets to decide the for me. Out. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. You gave oh, us a scare, smoke. brother. Artyom, how are you, friend? I see Pardon you're all me, right. Gentlemen, give this way. calls for a celebration. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, Alyosha, how you are the you nurses in the hospital, huh? You just stop crowding him. Uh, Welcome back, Artyom. Ah, uh, uh, All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's official. Yeah. I knew it. You guys are like this. So I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. fantasies in a silent world. Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice, if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? <laughs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. There's just no way anything can live up here. Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's much better enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Turn the light off. Did you hear that? Probably heard us coming down from the roof and decided to ambush us. This is like getting smaller. Let's pick up the bed. 
now the whole area, not over here. as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Stop. The hit on! I'll cover you! is off limits. I mean, if all the packs here are like that. <laughs> How about we take the bridge to cross the railroad? It would save us a detour. Too high. Hey, Hatyam, help me get out there. Not the order, assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you're right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. You people drove us halfway to nowhere. 
They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. Watchmen broke through. Short time. Work as a dungeon. Keep your weapon trained on the opening. If anything comes through, shoot. Attention! The turntable is switching on. Out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Uh, how did you... Oh. 
Oh my god. It's you she's been screaming about. Alive! <laughs> you came for her? <laughs> All right. I'll help. Finally, I'll be of some use. <laughs> okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Move crouched. It's quieter that way. See that ladder? Try sneaking to it now. Stay close to the wall. Irmak, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me already. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. Hey, Simon Mikhailovich. There's a failure at the generator, sir. You should see it, what? Yeah, I totally need you to tell me what I should do. Where the fix this line here? Everything is on the move. You'll have to take him down. Can you do it quietly? Yeah, right. Under control. What's with that mumbling? What happened to the world? Oh, I'm just talking to myself. Ah, you're mad. Yeah. Wait. Turn that light off. Let's go. Wait. Wait a moment. to that door. Try distracting him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. Great. Now throw it. I hope... Well done.
It's not just Russia out there. It's the whole world. Oh my God. What for? Because the war is still going on. And you behave like fucking kids. All the guards will be here soon. Damn. No. You don't shoot. What do you want? with him. With you. You have to run. Is this yours? They just left it sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go. All on Who are you? I'm Brian Wallach Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then go to the... I'll get you out of here. The young so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope... Uh, hey guys, be careful. What's going on? Hey! Hey! 